welcome to another video. So, ever since V0 came out, I've always been on the lookout for something that can do the same stuff that V0 can do but locally. When Bolt came out, I was pretty excited to see that it's open source, and maybe we could use it locally. But I was disappointed when I saw that it only works with Anthropic API keys. I mean, it's good. But not everyone can use an expensive Anthropic model. I don't use it. I rely on using free APIs like from Gemini, Mitral, or even local Olama models. So, I was disappointed, to say the least. But it seems we now have a proper tool that can be used locally, and it's actually a fork of Bolt's open source version. Now, this is an actual fork or copy of the Bolt open source repo. But this fork has added some pretty cool features that make it much more usable locally and with multiple providers. Let's talk a little about it. So, this is basically Bolt, but with these features. First of all, it has open router integration, Gemini integration, and Olima model support. It can also filter models by provider, download projects as zip, and includes improvements to the system prompt, as well as DeepSeek API integration, Mistral API integration, and OpenAI compatible API integration. It also has the ability to sync files to a local folder. It can even publish projects directly to GitHub, which is amazing. These are the major improvements that it has over the basic Bolt you'd host locally. Let's get it installed and see all this stuff because that will help us understand everything it offers when we see it. First of all, you'll need to clone it on your computer with this command. Once you've cloned it, you'll need to enter the folder. Now, run this pnpm install command. This will install the dependencies. Once it's installed, just rename the env example file to env local like this. Now, open it up, and here, you'll need to enter the API keys for the providers you want to use, like Grok, OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, Mistral, Olama, and your custom OpenAI base URL. I like using it with Gemini and Mistral because both APIs are free. So, I generally get that set up. For today, I'll mainly focus on using it with the free Mistral API because it's free, with no rate limit, and is super useful for local usage. But, I'll also show you how you can use it with the GitHub Models API as well if you want, because I think it'll be pretty good with this. Anyway, once everything is set up here, just start it with the pnpm preview command. Once done, it'll start, and you'll see the local host and port number where it's running. Just open it up, and you'll see this interface. As you can see, this interface is a bit different from the general Bolt open source project. Let's go through it one by one. So, first of all, here you have these providers, including Olima. For example, if I select Olima here, you can see that we get all our Olima models to choose from. I don't use Olima for this scale of code generation because it wouldn't work well in this case with a model like 7B. So, I use Mistral because it works best for me. I also have the API key configured for it. So, let's just select it. Now, once you do that, you can see all these options from Mitral. I like using the large model, so let's select that. Now, let's ask it to make a to-do app, because I just want to show what it has over the original Bolt. Anyway, it's generating now. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's done. So, you can see the code and preview here. Also, if you're wondering how it's showing the code and preview, it uses web containers, which is basically like a VM inside your browser, which is pretty cool. So, this doesn't require any API keys, which is amazing. Anyway, 
Here you have the preview and code and everything. You can also edit the code here if you want. But we have other features here that aren't in the default bolt. Here, you get the download code option, sync files option, toggle terminal option, and push to GitHub option. Toggle terminal basically opens up the terminal, which is great, and you can execute any commands here if you want. Apart from this, you have the download and sync options. The download option basically archives the entire code it generates and lets you download it. The sync option allows you to choose a folder, and then it will keep syncing the contents of the Bolt web container with that folder. So, you'll always have the updated code there. There's also the push to GitHub option, which pushes your code to a repo of your choice. It's useful, though not essential for me. This is the main stuff it has over the original one. I think it's pretty great to use for free locally with the free APIs. But let me also show you how you can use it with the GitHub models free API and use it with GPT-4.0 for free because I think that it could be a really great way to use this. This way, you can use any model without messing with the constants file and such. So, to use it with the GitHub Models Free API, you'll first need to go to GitHub Models and get an API key by clicking Get API Key and creating one here. You can use GPT-4.0, 4.0 Mini, and other models for free with this API. You can check my video on it where I go in depth. Once done, you'll need to create a light LLM proxy server that will make the GitHub model API fully OpenAI compatible. To do that, install light LLM with this command. Once done, export your GitHub model's API key and then start the light LLM server with this command. Now, you'll see a URL here. Just copy this URL, go to the Bolt ENV file, Find the OpenAI-like base and enter that URL you get from LightLLM, which will generally look like this. Now, you can start it and, in the interface, select the OpenAI-like option. Here, you'll see the model you've configured with LightLLM. So, just select that. Now, you can start using it. For a demo, I'll create a simple Minesweeper game because I don't want to exhaust my rate limits for the day. Okay, it's generating. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. Okay, this looks pretty good and works well. So, that's how you can use it with GitHub Models Free API as well. And I think it's just great. It gives you the same bolt, but with the option to use it with anything. I thought this was a pretty good tool to have, especially with free APIs. For me, this beats V0 for 100% free usage. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.